Looking at Bear Creek in Medford, it's easy to believe there's nothing living in there. But these young people think otherwise. They're stirring up the rocks on the creek bottom and catching whatever they stir up in these nets. There are two basic techniques for a collection like this. Using your feet to agitate the rocks or moving the rocks with your hands and then catching what comes out with the net. Either way, the dip net will usually catch macro invertebrates. Animals to be sure, but aquatic animals. They're small, but large enough to be seen without a microscope. Macroinvertebrates include larva stage of insects. At that stage, they can get oxygen directly from the water. Here's the larva stage of a caddisfly, and these are aquatic earthworms. Macroinvertebrates are identified according to physical traits. Magnifiers like these help people see details. Some macroinvertebrates, like caddisflies, are intolerant of pollution, so their presence indicates good water quality. All macroinvertebrates supply food to salmon at certain points in their life cycle. These kids learn about this at an event called Latino Kids and Bugs.